sort of thing on the roof here that I'm going for. And uh, yeah, this is one of the nicer houses in Farmington that I really like. I'll have some nice houses around here. But house portraits are great. Um, I do a lot of them, commissions for Christmas. They're great presents. And, uh, you know, generally, generally I'll be commissioned. I mean, just for, for you, what you think an artist makes. I mean, a commission I'll usually make about 500 bucks. Sometimes you, you do a painting for somebody and then they go to get it framed and the framer charges like more than the painting. And people are like, oh, Dawn, I feel awful. And I'm like, you know, I don't care. It's just that, you know, a frame is four pieces of wood. You know, they're just overcharging. There's great frame shops and everything, and they do do a great job. But, you know, that's the reality of it. You've got to pay a lot for a painting. If you want to get a, you know, you go and get it framed, and it's like 300 bucks just to frame the painting. I don't know what this is. I think it's a... Maybe it's part of the house in the background. I can't really tell. It is a huge house. So what I see is some kind of white going on. I'm just going to put that there. It's probably something in back of the house. And then this looks like another kind of roof over here. And then I'll go back and I'll do the windows. And I'm going to be a little bit more neat this time. Now when I go to do the windows, some of it's white. But when you squint your eyes, I wear glasses. I can't even see these camera guys. <laughs> could be my dad and my sister, I don't even see right. But um, I wear my glasses to drive. But if you do wear glasses and you're painting, get rid of them because you'll be a better impressionist for it. Um, when you squint your eyes and look at this painting, you can tell what's white and what's not. All of a sudden, the white stands out. And I would say that I'm going to use this Naples yellow for my off-white. Maybe I'll put a ton of white with it, though. That will be my off-white, and then my white will be my white. Painting is not good unless you can figure out what's the lightest light, what's the lightest, what's the darkest dark. So this beam here, I'm going to put this beam in. Okay, and I think you're going to see the painting is just going to pop out once I start putting these in. And it's a lot of fun to paint. Great for the mind, great for the spirit. I was on a boat once, and the waiter came over and told me that artists live a long time. And at the time, I think I had a cocktail and a cigarette going. And I thought they do. And uh, you know, I've quit most of my bad habits. But I thought, yes, oh, I can't believe it. I'm going to live long. And he said, oh, artists live long. And I said, oh, good, because I'm glad. And I think half of it is, is uh, people really stress out. And uh, if you're stressful, forget it. You're going to die of a heart attack. So you've got to lighten up on the work. Do some fun stuff. I see a lot of people golfing. I love to golf myself. I'm pretty good, actually. And uh, it's a lot of fun. But uh, even if you're golfing or whatever you're doing, it's great. And I don't run, but I walk. I love to walk. I see people running, and they look like they're going to fall over and die. And then I see people walking, and they look happy. You know, it's great just to walk it up. So I walk on Main Street, Farmington. I'll walk anywhere. I love to walk. Great exercise. Now I'm going to put this um, beam going across. It looks like a pretty big one. Looks like that's going like this. And then next episode, what I'll do is I'll show you how this one comes out. Um, after, you know, after I'm done with this program, I'll probably work on it like, yeah, depends. It could take me 15 more minutes. It could take me another hour. But um, like I said, if somebody something starts taking me five hours, then it's a bad painting. I need to start with another fresh one. You know, nothing should take five hours unless you're doing the first lady's portrait. Okay, so we've got a pretty good break. Uh, we've got a pretty good start here. Doesn't look perfect, but it's coming along. And I'm just what I'm going to do. We've got about five minutes to go here, and um, then next week I'll be on with Mary Ellen, and I'm going to teach her how to. Um, paint a Cape Cod scene, and, and you'll be surprised. Hers will probably be better than mine. Um, I'm just going to go while we're finishing up here, and I'm going to show you that when you do start, you know, you just, I mean, that's not perfect because another thing is oil paint takes forever to dry. Anything with lead in it, that's why they're having all the toy recalls. Red, this has lead, that has lead, that has lead. 
so you don't want to wash your hands with the red and orange, but they all have lead paint in them because that's how you get the colors. They're from England, the paints. They're not made in America. And uh, even when I was pregnant with my kids, I don't even think the doctors really got it. They, they thought I was like painting houses. And I was like, no, I'm a painter. You know, a painter, painter? They, oh, it's fine. I said, even the turpentine? Oh, yeah. So I don't know uh, how bad it is for you, but you don't want to you know, be cooped up in a little room with this stuff because you'll be flying like Peter Pan. Um, so as you can see, when I frame these windows, it really uh, starts to at least give me something to go back with next time I work on it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this one dry because I've got a lot of globs of paint here. And then when it's dry, I can go back and anything that I don't like, I can go back and pretty much fix everything. Um, I'm just trying to give you a little idea of how once you, you know, it's not that bad. I love globs, like this glob here, love it. Love globs of paint. Makes the painting stand out, and I think it looks great. Um, there's a great painter from Northampton, Mass., where I'm from. He's married to Kurt Vonnegut's daughter. His name's Scott Pryor. He's awesome. If you slide your hand across his canvas, nothing. He's just so good. And, uh, I don't know how he does it, but that's why his paintings sell for like $25,000. But his paintings are amazing, and I absolutely love him. But I prefer my style, to tell you the truth, or painters like myself. Maybe not my own. I'm not that snotty. But I do like, um, I do like the Impressionist style a lot better than I do the realist style. So as you can see, we've got a pretty good thing going on. In the background, you don't want as many glo globs because it'll make the tree look like it's in front of the house and the trees behind the house. So we're doing pretty good here. We've got a pretty good start of um, 184 Main Street. Um, and it's not bad. Once I come back, I'm probably going to do a little bit more green in here. I'm definitely going to go back and clean up all this and make sure that my lines are straight and even, because houses are not built to be uneven. And um, house portraits aren't that bad. They're pretty easy. It's all architects, triangles, squares. and the tracer you can get at Dick Blick. If you can't draw, go get a tracer. You'd be surprised. And don't start with fruit bowls and flowers because it's too much gibberish going on. My best advice is to go buy a photograph and work on it for maybe a couple hours. And if you hate it, stop. So that's it, crack of dawn. And we'll see you next week with Mary Ellen Thilo. Oh, we've got another minute. Um, Mary Ellen is um, living in Plainville. She lives right around the corner here, too. And uh, she and I are excited to paint together. We've never met, actually, but she's, um, she's excited to come in. And who knows, she might paint something better than me. But we're going to work on a Cape Cod scene. So if you want to, while we're painting, it's going to be more of an, an instructional show showing her. So if you want to, go to AC Moore, grab a canvas, go to Dick Blick, Blick get some materials, get a throwaway palette, and in a half an hour, I bet you, you can do a Cape Cod scene with us. So we'll see you next week. Thank you very much for tuning in with the crack of dawn. Thank you.